Welcome to Island Treasures mini podcast for caregivers. I'm your host and certified caregiving consultant, Alison Van Shee of Alongside Caregiver Consulting. This episode is brought to you by our sponsor, Cabin Tilly Contractors in the Comox Valley on beautiful Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada, where we care too. The most recent full episode of the Island Treasures podcast was with Dave Iverson sharing his caregiving story. As soon as I finished recording my conversation with Dave Iverson, I ordered his book, Winter Stars, An Elderly Mother, An Aging Son, and Life's Final Journey. My plan was to save it to read on a road trip that I would be taking in a couple of weeks' time with my husband but I found it hard to wait. And full disclosure, I didn't. Interestingly, the title for the second chapter is Setting Forth. For Dave, that meant he was setting forth into the world of caregiving. For me, I applied the title to Setting Forth on a Road Trip. The book had me captivated from start to finish. Knowing that Dave Iverson is a published writer, a film producer, TV and radio show host, and a retired broadcast journalist, I admit I was like a sponge soaking up what he said about the lessons he had learned and now imparts to others, along with his professionalism, as he set me at ease while sharing such a detailed account of his and his mother's caregiving journey. I appreciated his explanation of the difference he felt between being called to look after his mom versus being compelled. In his book, starting on page 181, he continues with more in-depth and informative reflections on being called or guided into caregiving, where he writes, no, I definitely hadn't felt called to do this, but I had felt compelled. And now as I reflected more on what prompted my choice to move in with my mom all those years before, I wondered if there was really a difference. And he asked the question, is feeling compelled a kind of calling? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this after reading Winter Stars. So that's what I did after my conversation with Dave. I mentioned in the beginning of the full podcast episode, my gratitude to Denise Brown, founder of the Caregiving Years Training Academy, as she was the one who introduced me to Dave. After her introduction, I watched his documentary on PBS Frontline called My Father, My Brother and Me, where I learned about Dave's family connection to Parkinson's disease and information about Parkinson's disease. And I got to see Dave's mom, Adelaide, in the film. I also visited Dave's website, daveiversonauthor.com, where I listened to him read the Winter Stars prologue. I call the episode Telling the Full Story of Caregiving as it shines a bright light on many aspects of caregiving, the different levels, the outward aspects, as well as inward and more personal aspects, those true feelings and intimacies that many caregivers face. The broad scope of caregiving, including inequities that also exist. I could go on, but I recognize how precious your time is, especially as caregivers. And when you have more time, I invite you to listen to the full episode and be sure to leave a rating and a review when you do. If you're in the midst of your own caregiving journey and need some supports, I invite you to tap into alongsidecaregiverconsulting.ca. And thank you for listening to this mini version of the podcast or watching the video version. And thank you to Dave Iverson for sharing your story both on the Island Treasures podcast and in your book, Winter Stars. And just a reminder that all the royalties from the book sales go to organizations whose work supports elder care, and those living with Parkinson's disease. Take care.